Welcome to another episode of Circle Back Vintage. Today we are in Wildwood Antique Mall in Wildwood, Florida. It's the holiday season, so there's lots of beautiful things to look at, and most of what I purchased this day was all holiday related. Maybe I'll find my food dogs here. Oh, camera needs some cleaning. Just give us a second. Thank you for your patience. Got these beautiful, almost surrealistic pieces of porcelain. I'm sure that they were used as table setting or just decorative objects, but they'd make some really fantastic centerpieces. So excited. I found a Count of Monte Cristo book by Alexander Dumas. I was so tempted to buy it, but somebody had spent a lot of time uh, underlining and making notes in the margins and just wasn't uh, quite the condition that I wanted to buy. I love to see the Ex Libris to know that somebody has loved a book at one point in time. It's part of their collection. I always look for that when I'm at estate sales to, to see if a book was loved doing a price check for a piece that I have at home. I took it to the Renegers flea market that I just did in November, but it's more of that mustard yellow piece. It'd be amazing if somebody could figure out how to use all these old vintage Avon perfume bottles. Beautiful little onyx trinket. Perfect for a ring. And I was very tempted to add these to my 1950s to 1960s made in Japan holiday pieces, but I decided I was, I was going to circle back and just didn't need to buy them because I found so many other pieces that I loved, but maybe next time. I was very tempted to buy this squirrel planter for my dad as a joke. I think they may be their chipmunks, but I thought they were squirrels when I picked them up, but he does not like squirrels as a landscape architect. They destroy his landscaping, but it's kind of an inside joke that we have. This is a beautiful mid-century modern pottery piece. It was signed on the bottom. Some of you may recognize it, and if you do, please let me know in the comments below. I have a piece that is nearly identical to this. Um, the piece that I have is also signed by the same artist. I believe it's C. Jones around the same time period. It's a nice piece. The one that I have on the website is just a little bit bigger. Weird Al Yankovic. Anybody remember him? This had me laughing. It's a dainty gift. So make an amazing sop sink if anybody needs one. It's at Wildwood Antique Mall. Beautiful pieces of mid-century modern with this gorgeous inlay on the front. And I'm not sure if it's a burl wood, but it was just beautiful made with these arches and the intricacy that it was manufactured with was outstanding. Just don't see pieces like that too often. I was absolutely amazed that this still worked. I think we had the sound working at this point in time so you can hear what it actually sounded like. <laughs> Sugar and cream, onion teapot, anyone? Very disgruntled onion teapot. This booth had all sorts of oddities and she had tinfoil wrapped around her hair. Majolica used to be so popular and the prices just plummeted. I think they were really popular in the 80s. Just doesn't seem to have the same market that it used to. I'm sure it'll all circle back as things do though. Hey guys. I 
This is such an interesting piece of history. It is somebody's passport book where they had all of their information about their vaccinations and international vaccinations that they needed. Uh, this person was born in the 1920s, so they had all of these different travel dates and uh, medical information for their vaccinations over the years. Uh, we'll blur it out so that we don't have any personal information showing, just in case that person still happens to be alive, uh, but or there's any sort of family history there. Just a really interesting time capsule. anybody recognize this reference for this rosebud sleigh comment below that whole bag was forty dollars so we ended up passing on it but uh, definitely some of those pieces are pretty collectible doing a price check here just to make sure we want everything in the cart as you can see there's definitely a theme with everything we're buying today with all these holiday decorations so just uh this is thanksgiving when we filmed this we were looking to bring all sorts of holiday decor to our house it's 1950 so i always try to make things match with the theme and the style of our house it really brings this beautiful nostalgic vibe to the home when things are in the same time period a lot of the pieces that i collect are 1950s and 1960s uh, made in japan pieces and i'll be sure to show those to you coming up soon in another one of our videos uh, show you some of our holiday decor and how we like to decorate with vintage pieces pieces around the holiday season. This is a lovely piece of mid-century modern pottery and it is also signed but it did have a lot of chips on it so we decided to not go with it today. These pieces are incredible. And yet again, more Christmas ornaments that were just too good to pass up. So we went ahead and purchased a few more. And I'm very happy to show you how we styled some of those pieces up on the holiday tree here. 